back. Oh. Bed. Bed. Oh. When your heart is full of nothing at all and your body runs, you forgot what for your eyes reflect light from a fire that is gone and your feet are the only things that drag you along. When you're low on love, it's a little colder than I was expecting. When the words they say Stones and sticks burn in a cage hundred miles underground when the rubble is falling you'll be singing aloud don't you I would normally say I never want to leave again but I know this is just a step in my recovery you know every time I do this it'll get easier and easier and that's why I'm not going to say I never want to do that again. Here we go. I am about to go exploring in France. My first time ever by myself without my husband. Um, you know, I woke up today at 4 p.m. I was exhausted. I just like couldn't get the energy to to leave the hotel room. I just felt this like something pushing me to like go explore by myself even though I don't feel good and I just know I can do it and I know I'll be okay. Um, but I'm tired, you know, it's it's hard sometimes to push yourself when you're tired and don't feel good. You don't know if it's going to go well or not, but you just have faith that it will. And if it doesn't, that you'll be able to recover tomorrow and start again. So I'm just feeling so blessed to be here. I took my first trip in August of 2018. It's now May of 2019 and, you know, we've traveled a lot and I have never been able to travel out by myself. Um, so this just feels like a huge blessing and I'm so grateful and I'm nervous, like my heart's racing just because it's like, you know how many things can go wrong. Um, and when you're alone and things go wrong, it's different than when you're with, you know, someone you trust and someone that understands my condition and things go wrong. So either way, I'm excited. <laughs> Please don't pass out. Please don't pass out. <laughs> Oh, the last thing I need is to, like, wake up in a hospital. 